How long was this since your last show? It was like September. Then my wife, she started getting tired of it. I was, I was getting tired of it. I had to wash my hair more I could tell it long. Then you know you had to take your time. You don't want no know. dips, no, you know what I mean? That's long. You want to do the, the two open? Yeah. Just do me. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is my OG. Man, I love cutting his hair because he trusts me. He don't, he don't be like, you know, oh, don't mess me up. He he trusts me. He just sits in a chair. He lets me he lets me pick the length. Um, we usually keep it at like a two. I went with my detachables this time, just because I know his hair. It doesn't he doesn't have no spots that cut light except around his ear, so you can kind of see I'm skating off. Other than that, I can kind of press going all the way to his hairline. It won't patch him at all. I avoid his crown because he has a thinner, it's not even that it's thin, but his hair is so silky that, and he's rocking a beehive, so his crown isn't closed, it's an open crown, so there's space between the actual bald part of his crown, like where the hair splits, where it starts, and then where the waves are, so I can kind of avoid that area and it won't be uneven. And I like cutting waves with detachables because it doesn't leave it frizzy and like standing up. A lot of times with, you know, waivers, you cut it with a guard and it's still frizzy. So you have to like freehand it at the end. I mean, you're always going to have to freehand it at the end, but this kind of gives it that smooth, silky look. Like, look at that. That's that's crazy. And then I'll go with the two clothes with the guard and smooth down his hairline. Then I use my 360 Jeezy brush. And for the taper, I'm gonna do like a regular mid to low taper. He has, he has thinning edges, not because, you know, genetics or anything. Full, full head of hair, full hairline, but just, you know, from wearing a do-rag, you know, the pressure around that area, it all plays a part. So it takes me like a minute to fade out this part. And he's 63 years old, by the way. His hair is real, nothing fake about it. He does dye it. And for the back, we're gonna go a little higher because he hates to flap on the back of his neck. So you can't see the flap now, but you guys, I know you guys saw it in the beginning. That comes from just wearing the do-rag, you know, sleeping with it on, going outside with it on, just wearing it constantly. And by, uh, I'm not sure how he ties it. I'm sure he ties it correctly, but it could just be head shape too. Like if you have a dip back there and then the do-rag is just naturally kind of sitting and that's where you tie it, it'll kind of exaggerate the dip a bit more and kind of make it more noticeable. And then for his hairline, I'll take the one guard, lever's fully open, and I'll kind of smooth down his edges. And I'll start in the middle, work my way to each side. Now we'll have to push it back a little bit in the corners, but you guys gotta understand waves, you can kind of like, push the waves like 
you got to think a waiver is brushing all his hair forward so when he's wolfing all that hair that ain't even really growth it's just overgrowth um not even overgrowth overhang can kind of like come kind of like bangs but for waves And his C cups aren't the fullest. They're definitely full, but they aren't super, super dark. And I work my way from the right side to the left on him. And I make sure everything is symmetrical. And then I'll do the back shape up. Same thing for the back. And in my opinion, waivers need enhancements just because my barbers know a waiver haircut isn't a normal haircut because you're kind of the goal is to make the waves look good you're not really worried about how sharp you can make the haircut i mean you're still trying to get it sharp but your main concern is keeping the waves safe so waivers in my opinion would much rather have a haircut that the waves are safe with a bunch of enhancements rather than a haircut that's sharp with no enhancements but the waves are now messed up in my opinion in my opinion because the enhancements is going to come off anyway and a waiver is going to brush his hair that same day and all the all the hair is going to come flinging over i mean even if it's a good cut it's just the reality of things I remember when I had waves in 2019, I'd get a fresh haircut. I'd, I'd do a self cut. And I'd be there all night because I'm, I'm trying to make it perfect. When the With waves, you, you just can't have a perfect hairline. You can't. You can have a perfect hairline for an hour, but after that, once the wind starts blowing, it's over. So I add a little bit of the enhancements and then I put a little bit of the pencil Shout out to Easy Blade Shaving Products. You can use my code on the screen, the fourth Ken. I'm stretching the skin and using my razor. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And I always stress the importance, just a light freehand trim. You don't have to do it all around the head. Definitely the top, be safe. You can patch people, especially with these clippers. Very easy to patch. Be careful. Um, they're safer clippers to use, but look at that angle though. Sheesh. Made his mustache real quick. You saw his reaction. He was, that's, that's the cool OG reaction. So that's the before and the stay after. It's your boy, Foreign, I'm out. Peace.